Welcome to Hornbill TV. This is Yonke Oke Krizan Yusolo. First the headlines. Ahmad Mi Party member Sanjay Singh Swati Maliwal and N.D. Gupta have been elected unopposed for the All Raja Sabha seats. President Joe Biden said on Thursday that the targeted strikes were a clear message that the escalation of the attacks by the Houthi rebel against commercial vessels would not be tolerated. Karnataka police said on Friday that three persons have been arrested in Karnataka's Haveri for alleged moral policing and gang rape which sparked outrage among the opposition leaders in the state. and Andy Gupta have been renominated by the Arm Army Party. Maliwal thanked, thanked party chief Arvind Kedriwal for nominating her and said she would serve the people of Delhi with faith and honesty. Singh has been in jail since October in connection with the alleged Delhi liquor scam policy. He has moved to the Delhi High Court for bail. In December, a Delhi court dismissed a bail application by Singh, saying it that prima facie the case against him was genuine. The six-year term of AAP MP Singh and D. Gupta and Sushil Kumar Gupta ends on January 27th. While the AAP has renominated Singh and N.D. Gupta for a second term, it nominated Maliwal, former Delhi Commission for Women Chief, to replace Sushil Gupta. जी बहुत-बहुत शुक्रिया बहुत खुश हूं और मुझे इतने हजारों महिलाओं को यहां देखकर एक बहुत ही ज्यादा ऊर्जा मिली है सबको आश्वासन देना चाहती हूं कि जो उनके मुद्दे हैं वो मैं पार्लियामेंट में जोरदार तरीके से उठाऊंगी ये हजारों महिलाएं जो यहां पे हैं या जो घर में बैठ के मेरे को देख रही हैं और सुन रही हैं और देश के पुरुष और बाकी सभी लोगों को मैं यही आश्वासन देती हूं कि सही मुद्दे उठाऊंगी सही बात कहूंगी और जैसे आज तक करती आई हूं सच के लिए लड़ी हूं हमेशा सच के लिए लड़ू जी मैं कहीं जा नहीं रही जो आंदोलन जो आवाज मैं सड़क से उठाती थी अब वही आन मैं कहीं नहीं जा रही मैं यहीं पे हूं और उन्हीं के मुद्दे जोरदार तरीके से बार-बार बार-बार संसद में उठाऊंगी जब तक कि लोग सुने जी मैं उनका दिल से धन्यवाद करती हूं क्योंकि मैं बहुत आम महिला हूं मेरे घर में कभी किसी ने राजनीति नहीं देखी और अगर हम देखें तो दिल्ली में राज्यसभा में जाने वाली मैं पहली महिला हूं तो मैं अरविंद केजरीवाल जी का बहुत-बहुत शुक्रिया करती हूं पार्टी नेतृत्व मनीष सिसोदिया जी संजय सिंह जी का भी मैं दिल से अभिनंदन करती हूं और मैं सबको यही आश्वासन देना चाहती हूं कि जैसे आज तक सच के लिए लड़ती आई हूं वैसे ही सच के लिए लड़ूंगी महिलाओं के मुद्दे मेरे लिए हमेशा प्रमुख रहे BJP candidate Dorji Tsering Lepcha won the lone Raja Sabha seat in Sikkim uncontested, officials said on Friday. Lepcha, who was the only person to file nomination for the election, was declared elected after his papers were scrutinized and found to be in order, they said. Lepcha received a certificate of his election to the Upper House of Parliament from Returning Officer Lalit Kumar Gurung, who is the Secretary of the State Assembly. Assistant Returning Officer Karma T. Gyatso Bhutia and Observer Pema Laden Lama were also present when the certificate handed to him as the Rajya Sabha MPs from Sin Housing and Transport. Lepcha, along with nine MLAs of the SDF, switched over to the BJP, making it the second largest party in the Assembly overnight. Later, the BJP also won by elections to two seats, taking its tally to 12. Lepcha Raja Sabha nomination is being considered as his reward for helping the BJP become a major player in the Himalayan state. He will be the second MP from a national party to represent Sikkim in Raja Sabha. Congress leader Karma Topden had represented the state in the House from 1988 to 1994. The North East India largest dairy cooperative West Assam Milk Products Cooperative Union Limited, which operates the Purabi Dairy brand, has outlined ambitious plans for the development of the dairy sector in the state in 2024. Addressing media persons during a pre mark Bihu celebration at the Purabi Dairy campus at Panjabari in Guwahati on Friday, WAMUL's Managing Director Satya Brata Bose said that the dairy pro cooperative has grown from strength to strength over the years. Updates said it has been able to provide better livelihood to thousands of dairy farmers in the state. 
The dairy cooperative has witnessed substantial growth over the years, significantly improving the livelihoods of thousands of dairy farmers in the state state Bose. For our esteemed customers, Bose added. We wanted this interaction with the media, especially to highlight that what Purubi has been doing, where we have reached, Purubi as a brand where we have reached, and which is the organization behind this brand. And uh, although it started with West Assam Milk Union Limited, and that is the biggest organization that is pulling through the brand Purabi. But we do have associated organization like we have East Assam Milk Union which is also now started growing. NDDB is managing that Milk Union as well. And uh, the government of Assam and the National Dairy Development Board have joined hands and it will be through the cluster Milk Unions of West Assam, East Assam and Barak Valley. So, yeah, this uh, entire totality, this dairy ecosystem will get a, a new new dimension. It has already started. It started with uh, the Wamul turnaround story, establishment of Purubi as a successful brand. Uh, success comes in terms of, you know, quality and consistency. We are in the day handle one lakh. And the plant capacity expansion to 1.5 lakh liter per day ho chuka hai. Is liye hum kar pa rahe hain. Saath mein value added products. Dekhi value addition aapko return achcha deta hai. Jo ki ultimately cooperative ke through farmer ke paas pahunch jata hai. To is saal mein we, we are planning to have lot more of value added products. Us mein one of the most interesting thing is uh, possibly ice cream. Joki Assam me milta to tha, but nothing was actually manufactured in Kohati or Assam. So, is me kya hoga? Ye jo ice cream abhi consumers ko milenge, ye ekdam this will be the freshest of ice cream that is possible to get because ye yahan pe ban raha hai. So, yeah. The project is being executed by UNC Construction Co. Private Limited. The company will start earth cutting work on the high rise or steep terrains by deploying machinery and the use of explosives. The updates stated. Travelers from Mokokchung and Tuansang are advised to take the following alternative routes. Existing NH2 Mokokchung to Chari via Tsutsung Moalenden, Meilong Mokokchung, Chuchu Yimpang, and Long Misa Alosopur, Trongnar in NH2 Tuansang. The IPR stated, the window period for vehicular movement has been established between 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. from Monday to Saturday. During these times, movement will be allowed to facilitate farmers and MCC sanitation trucks engaged in garbage dumping duties. The company shall ensure the safety of the travellers and the public by properly managing traffic flow along the route, the IPR stated. The company shall be solely held responsible for any damages to life and property caused during Dharma Tiger Hena Black Tiger Cement. Hello, Nortis. Physics Wala Guwahati is here for your dreams to be fulfilled as an engineer or a doctor with Physics Wala Vidya Pit. Where experience are mentored by experienced faculties with personalized doubt classes along with recorded lectures for revision. So, padega rona. Pani ghusne se concrete kamzor ho jaye. Star weather sheet cement kharab mausam mein ghar weatherproof banaye. Star weather sheet jal pratirodhak cement. Nowadays, everyone is purchasing Amrit Sam. Why won't they buy? Quality, the best. Price, the best. Technical service, that too is the best. And on top of that, the strength of CSH gel. Even mm. engineer Saab was talking about it. Film Anukul Niti, single window system, online shooting ki anumati, or subsidy ki suvidhane Uttar Pradesh ko banaya hai. Desh ka most film friendly state. Asi filmo ko subsidy ke taur par diye gaye hai. Chavali skaro drupe. विभिन्न स्थानों पर 450 से अधिक फिल्मों की हुई है शूटिंग स्थानीय कलाकारों को मिला है अपना हुनर दिखाने का अवसर माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी मानते हैं कि सकारात्मक फिल्में समाज को जागरूक बनाने का आधार हैं 
इसी के अनुरूप माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी की पहल पर विश्व स्तरीय सुविधाओं से लेस इंटरनेशनल फिल्म सिटी की स्थापना की जा रही है फिल्म स्टूडियो होटल्स मॉल्स थीम पार्क मिक्सिंग और रिकॉर्डिंग स्टूडियो जैसी सुविधाएं फिल्म उद्योग के माध्यम से आकर्षित करेंगी पूंजी निवेश मोस्ट फिल्म गेट टेस्टेड फॉर एच आई टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर Union Health Minister Dr. Mansuk Mandavi on Friday virtually laid a foundation stone for over 80 units of health infrastructure in seven northeastern states including 11 projects in Manipur. The event was part of the Pradhan Mantri Ayushman Bharat Health Infrastructure Mission, Pradhan Mantri Swasthya Suraksha Yojana and the National Health Mission. The minister also inaugurated a permanent campus of the National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research in Guwahati in the presence of Assam Chief Minister Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarma. Mandavia also laid the foundation stone of the NIPER Hyderabad and NIPER Rai Bareilly. The minister also dedicated five new. Today, we, uh, our honourable minister of health and family welfare, Dr. Mansoor Mandavia ji, has dedicated to the nation three new campuses of NIPER, that is National Institute of uh, Pharmaceutical Education and Research, and uh, dedication of NIPER Guwahati, Hyderabad. and rai bareilly along with this tree there has been inauguration and foundation stone laying ceremony of healthcare infrastructure projects in northeast regions in six states of northeast regions under prime minister's health infrastructure mission and uh, ecrp emergency uh, covid uh, uh, this thing uh, covid ki finance the and ecrp uh, emergency covid response so in manipur we have uh, foundation of uh, we have the foundation laying of is uh, two iphl that is integrated public health labs in kamjong and tamenglong and inauguration of uh, the recently renamed from health and wellness center to uh, ayushman arogya mandir in five centers that is langathel ningombam nungu chairu uh, kurai sajor lekai and wangu ahlup so five centers has uh, has been uh, completed and handed over to the uh, to our department then we have for regarding covid uh, when we faced a covid epidemic in 2020 to 2022 we had a shortage of uh, medical bed being built in the campus of jenims uh, so this uh, this is our first ccb and two more ccbs are also coming up in the state in two districts for which the tender process is ongoing then we have three iph concentrated in imphal area in the two medical colleges in rims and jenims so in this uh, iph there will be we will be testing majority of all the public health diseases uh, <coughs> for diagnosis so this will be very helpful for our state and uh, these are the 11 projects which we have uh, foundation Sir. stone and inauguration thank Sir, you how 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 big is this development project do you consider it a major breakthrough for the government uh yes this is a, a new no, no, no. this is a new concept and uh, uh, there will be integrated like the as the name suggests integrated public health lab means in the existing labs wager will be shortened and diseases can be easily identified and in a short duration so this will help in the controlling of any outbreak in the future the nagaland public rights awareness and action forum has alleged that the nagaland government spent more than 1300 crore on 416 incomplete projects the group issued a statement asking the government of nagaland to complete the 416 projects in the state The group alleged that some of the projects have been 20 years long since the funds were sanctioned but the government is turning blind eye and continues to remain oblivious. There are 416 incomplete incomplete projects which are 1380.4 crore has been sent by 36 department 258.85 crore against 15 projects PWD housing 235.56 crore against 35 projects police engineering project 177.75 crore for 48 projects urban development 96.77 crore for 26 projects geology and mining 
48.94 crore for four projects, veterinary and animal husbandry, 19.3 crore for 62 projects, civil administration works, 15.33 crore against 179 incomplete projects. The CAG report also revealed that from 2003 to 11, there were 30, 63 incomplete projects for which sent for 39 ongoing projects with cost overrun 25.84 crore, the group stated. Further, 2013 to 2014, 134 projects, 53.55 crore to 2.48 crore. From 2018 to 19, 42.78 crore from 2019 to 20, four projects worth 5.28 crore. The Nagaland government has spent over 1,300 crore on 416 projects which are incomplete for over two decades, it stated. The organization reminded the people of Nagaland must be aware of their rights and responsibilities as a responsible citizen and raise their voice wherever necessary instead of remaining mute in the face of corruption. After the United States, along with its allies, launched attack in Yemen, President Joe Biden said on Thursday local time that the targeted strikes were a clear message that the escalation of attacks by the Houthi rebels against commercial vessels would not be tolerated. Today's defensive action follows the in extensive diplomatic campaign and the Houthi rebels escalating attacks against commercial vessels, a White House press release quoted Biden saying. These target strikes are a clear message that the United States and its partners will not tolerate attacks on their personnel or allow hostile actors to imperil freedom of navigation in one of the world's most critical commercial routes, the White House press release stated. He will not hesitate to direct further measures to... These strikes are in direct response to unprecedented Houthi attacks against international maritime vessels in the Red Sea, including the use of anti-ship ballistic missiles for the first time in history, Biden said. These attacks have been endangered U.S. personal civilian mariners and the U.S. partners jeopardized trade and threatened freedom of navigation, Biden added. That's all for the Primetime Bulletin. This is your anchor signing off. In this world, we are only two. The world is not the world. आ रहे हैं हम दोनों Cultural sustainability is an important issue that often gets overlooked. It refers to the idea of preserving and sustaining traditional cultures in the face of globalization and modernization. Sustainable tourism alternatively promises not only to support economic development in destinations but also to facilitate 